Okay, hey everybody. I'm here with my buddy Cloud, cause well, we felt like doing a video. There you go. And we're gonna be discussing ways to, this is gonna be about 30 ways to improve WWE's product. All 31, cause I'm gonna let Cloud get, he had one, he has a way to, uh, improve WWE. Yeah, at least have like, um, like, what about the move sets? If someone wants to have their own moves, they, they're able to use them. Oh, um, yeah. That's, that's one way that... Yes. And quit banning moves. Like the pal driver. If someone wants to use the pal driver, they can. I mean, I can understand why you would ban Randy Orton's punch to the head, because it looks like he's just kicking some, some gun in the head. <laughs> Although it is funny. It, especially the look on people's faces when you hear like that. <laughs> that was actually one of my, uh, one of my reasons. <laughs> yeah. And again, that also goes back to like, uh, what's it called? Their training? Yeah. Because honestly, to be honest, be honest with Michelle, most of the guys in WWE are, are fresh out of wrestling school. Yeah, like all the old school people want to just go somewhere else or just yeah. go into re retirement. Yeah. Which include which we, uh, which kind of uh, sends me into the next point better quality get a better yeah. quality of wrestler better quality wrestlers because honestly yeah. I can True. think of a handful True. of quality guys we got the rest are just and like oh I'll give Cena when he's not getting pushed down. They're throat, stupid. I'll, and I'll give him that. Like they're stupid and they don't know what to do. Yeah, Cena could be good if they gave him the right stuff. They're too much making be uh. They're too much. They're too focused on him making him the uh, Barney without the suit. Like, hey kids, yeah. buy this, buy that. Hey, he could be good. We got Randy Orton. I can see he has potential. Uh, Brian and Punk, they got potential. Cody Rhodes. Except, uh, yeah. except he, I'm just glad we don't have. One thing that's bad is that we have to listen to uh, Ken and Brian keep on saying I'm the tag team champions two days a week. And the rest of the time we have to hear it I ever, every every day. Uh, the rest of the videos we have to hear you and Scaling say it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot. Kane's quality. Yeah. And a, a few others, but other than that, the rest are, eh. Now we come to one that just irritates me. Kill Linda McMahon's Senate campaign. Mm-hmm. Because if... Yes. Because I don't... They should kill it. Yeah. And not revive I mean, I it. it. I understand if you want to run it for one time. If you want to run it one or time, even, but even a second. But God's sakes, don't do it a third. It's true. My fourth one, and this is a biggie. This is a real biggie. Quit putting all your attention on the two to seven demographic. 
the kid demographic. When the the t- main TV audience is like okay, I'll go fifteen to thirty. That's the main TV demographic. Why do they keep going? Why do they keep trying? For some reason, after uh, WWE has a boom period, like a, a, a long period of success, they don't want to strike every freaking thing down and compete with Disney. Yeah. And it's sad, but Disney's freaking winning. There you go, Disney. You just won your battle. And all you need to do is try and win the war. Which the Star obviously Wars. <laughs> Even though nothing can beat the original Star Wars. Oh yeah. Now we come to num- number five. The first diversify a little diverse diver dot well I can talk I swear. Diversity. Diversify. A little bit of kid stuff is okay. But mix it with this That's just twenty four seven kid stuff? Yeah. It's it's kinda really? like Well see, I like chocolate. But if you keep getting chocolate shoved in your mouth, shoved down your mouth day to day to day, one's gonna make you sick and two's gonna give you a migraine. Which or if you say somebody likes vanilla, you keep shoving the same thing down there. Just the plain stuff down there. They're going to get sick and tired of it pretty freaking quick. That is true. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you have some variety. Number six, get Vince to retire or at least draw back a hell of a lot backstage. Because honestly, he had it out of touch with the with pop 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 culture nowadays. Yeah. Number six, number seven, less rioters. Because yeah, we we're right now we're in a situation of too many cooks in the kitchen. If you get that analogy, like I get it. Twenty rioters for one television show is well, at least for a wrestling show, is way too many. In the attitude area, you had two guys, two guys writing about this stuff, and Vince approving it. The Undertaker, I could understand him being the American Bay B A. Hey, you can you can say American badass. He's a wrestling character. Yeah. yeah. Number eight, allow blood. Duh. What's the point like, on having WWE then if blood isn't gonna like spew? Yeah. Oh, not a, I'm not saying like have blood every match, every match, but if somebody gets like blood in, in a freaking cage match, come on. CM Punk got busted open versus a king and had, he had to keep, he had, he had to keep wiping it. Like, okay, these, do you honestly think these little kids don't know if you cut your forehead, you're gonna bleed? Yep. And number nine is just something that kind of, well, I think they need to really, uh, Overhaul. Stop with the whole heel GM care. Stop with the whole heel GM gimmick. With people who can't pull it off. 
Like, I mean, it takes a high level of charisma to be able to pull it off. And, I mean, like, only two or three people in the WWE now have the, the amount of char- charisma to do it. Yeah. Heyman could be good. Yeah. Heyman's good at it. Yeah. Vince, or I'll get down. I'll get into the similar, some other, a little kind of down the line. Here's another idea. Number ten. Put Triple H in charge. Yeah. That was ver- that was a, I enjoy- I don't know about you, but I really enjoyed that about month ninety day month or two where he was in charge. It was fun. I did like that. That was a good idea. I know he's. I know he's backstage. Put him. Feature him. And we're about a third of the way done. Wow. Yeah. Like I say, y'all. Basically, the internet and cable went out in my house, so I got free and board. More. Legitimate groups to feed with each other. Like, yeah. back in the ad, the attitude era, or, or let's call it the attitude and pre-attitude eras, you had the Heart Foundation, you had DX, you had the Nation of Domination, you had the Brew, you had the Men- you had the Road Warriors. Warriors. Yeah. Yeah, the the Road Warriors, the Brothers of Destruction. A little bit more like tag teams, but yeah, okay. <laughs> you had you had that you had Paul Bear Bear's weird little stable when it was Kane, Taker, and Mankind. It kind of oh, was. I don't. I don't remember that. Well, it was Probably like either Kane and Taker. It was. It was either Kane or Undertaker, or Kane and Mankind. Yeah, but it's it was always seemed to revolve around that. It was, it was always kind of diff- dysfunctional, but it kind of worked because either Kane was mad at uh, Taker and. Mankind or Mankind was mad at Taker and Kane or Kane, Kane, Taker was mad at Kane and Kane and Mankind. He kind of worked. Yeah. This is a big one. Bring back heel Vince McMahon. Like, I'm the billionaire, damn it. Billionaire Vince yeah, like, works. <laughs> not this new uh, school crap. Yeah. Like I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Nope. You really can't say I didn't do anything. You really can't say I did anything when I didn't do anything. Yeah. Er, you're fired. And something I've been hearing a lot about in the. Uh, some of the re- YouTube wrestling community do the revolution storyline where like the the people from superstars and NXT come together to form an alliance and take over yes you know your mic your cam's off right yeah I know uh, Technical difficulties with the mic real quick Or with the camera real quick Yeah It's gonna be up and running in like two seconds Okay We shall wait do 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 <laughs> One I'm really in favor of Because I think and I have a feeling It's just gonna come true 
Jeep uh, Ric Flair as general manager. <laughs> well, half of the thing got cut off, so I kind of understood what she said. Ric Flair as GM. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I kind of already said this one, but okay, I'll say it again. Paul Heyman as general manager. No. No, I can see him. He could pull off the whole heel GM thing. And with his twisted mind, he could come up with some good stuff. For only the heel entertainment. But for the new one, like for the new and calm version, that could be for, uh, what's his name? For, uh... Ric Flair. Yeah. And bear with me on this one. Shawn Michaels as general manager. Shawn Michaels and Triple H, how about that? DX as general manager, I like it. <laughs> yep. And I know this next one... Oh, and by the way, oh, Shawn Michaels is general Not Commissioner Michaels. That storyline sucked. Shawn, I love you, but no. Don't bring the commission back. No. Bad. Bad heartbreak, kid. <laughs> Number 17, I know you're going to agree with me on because we've talked about this a couple times. Put JR and King back in the announced b- on them a commentary again. That's where they belong. She's your Hall of Famers, my freaking ass. They are Hall of Famers. I know. Hall of Famers, my ass. Look at them. So hmm. They can still go. They can still do it. They can yeah. still announce. Yeah, they can it's still like, talk. They're not talk. I know. I know. I know. Jerry had the heart attack. But that's what he was freaking wrestling. But okay, and and he has a genetic disposition yeah. to it. So if he wants to, whatever. This yeah. one I think would would be just funny. Bring back all the all of DX from from Brawl One Thousand. That whole group. Every once in a while, for like for like a month or so, like every few, every year, or or, or twice yeah. a year for like a month, for them just to raise some hell. Yeah, to really get the entertainment going. Yeah, and you know, every once in a while, you see, <laughs> like suck it. <laughs> yeah, number nineteen. Bring in more wrestlers from like Japan and Mexico, like to diversify the styles. I'm sorry to say this, I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but to me, pretty much like all like Mexican wrestlers, they should stay where they belong. I'm not trying to be mean or anything. Uh, see, if I am sounding mean, I apologize. Well, see, I grew. Well, the reason I can see your point, but say I grew up loving the WCW cruiserweights, like Psychosis, La Parca, Super Crazy, Super Calo, uh, Rey Mysterio, guys like that from Mexico. And also like some of the guys from Oh Conan and guy and Sankara. Okay, Sin Oh well, Sankara went in W C D but well Sankara is an exception to the role. Yeah. <laughs> I mean ain't anybody puts that Buckner dude or whatever. And and everybody's from Chicago, Obama. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Not me at all. No Obama for me. Period. Yeah. Yeah. Going off subject a little bit. Yeah, but, but 
tossing it back some. I'm not saying cut, take him off TV altogether, but like, don't put him like in half the friggin' segments, especially when he's friggin' injured. He okay, a backstage segment, an in-ring segment, and a match. Or that's pushing it a little bit or, too much. Right either there. or, either a backstage segment or a in-ring segment and a match. If you want yeah. a non-wrestling segment and a, and a in-ring segment, then yeah. I'll, I'll give you. Cause I know you're saying a guy, but you, you know as well as I do, they even they push him. <laughs> Cena, Cena overload. Cena overload. Yeah, and that's right. Does not compute. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> does not compute. <laughs> Bring back hardcore wrestling. Bring back the ECW era. Exactly. Not exactly the bastardized, from, uh, not the bastardized ECW. The real ECW. No. Yeah, that? like the one with Rob Van Dam, Sabu, New Jack, <laughs> the Sandman. Hell yes. Balls, Mahoney, <laughs> Jerry Lynn, a few RVD. My, that's one of my favorite robberies of all time. Friggin', what's his name? I Don forgot what Dreamer. his name was. Don yes. Date, my number 25. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I have some... Yeah, I skipped a bunch. Bring War Games to WWE. Yes. This would be, be more like if, if they actually decide to listen to me and bring up into a bunch of factions so they could actually fight inside of War Games. I like a double ring, one for Raw and one for SmackDown, and then just have them just battle each other. If that's an idea. Or for just them. take out, or just take out like, or just take out two of the turnbuckles and make it into one very large ring. Yeah. Or oh, the, the double ring actually would be more traditional, so I'll go with that. Yeah. 24, and this is actually something I heard on in another guy's video, but I do think it's a very good idea. Bring back the Cruiserweight division. Yes. And like have Hurricane and have, Holmes. Yeah. As one of them, yeah. And like, Shabba I don't Burrow. know, since... Uh, dude, huh? Bring back, like, Chavo Guerrero. To, I thought to you the said Eddie. WWE. I was like, uh, that technology does not exist, <laughs> brother. <laughs> <laughs> and how, like, since he was one of the pioneers, one of the first hop, one of the first guys with this kind of style in the company, Shawn Michaels be, like, commissioner of the uh, com uh, cruiser manager or like of uh, the cruiserweight division. Because he was one of the first guys you saw flying around there as his main style. Yep. 25. Debut. 25? Yeah. We're at uh, I thought you, like, skip. I did. I went back. <laughs> <laughs> I went back from War Brent. I went back far from war games. War games. Oh yeah, here's the. I uh, yeah, I did just forget. Bring back the war. Um, bring in the World War Three Battle Royal. I wish y'all had to bring in some guys, but hey. Or the one thing that should that is the six man thing, battle royal. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry to cut you off like this on this, ahead. but pretty much like what they should really bring back is 
the like at WrestleMania they have like that thirty that Raw vs SmackDown over the top battle royal. That's they should have a good that idea. on pay per view. They should have that. They tried that. So you could actually see it. They tried that with uh there's like a whole brand versus brand pay per view. I don't know. Like, conflict or something. And honestly, for that to be able to work, they would have to actually have uh, brands that people weren't, like, jumping from sh- show to show every dang them week. Like, you'll see Seamus on both shows. Brandy Orton, thank God Cena ain't. But most, a lot of guys do both shows. For that to work, that can do that. But at least have like the legends, like have like some of the legends come back for that's just going, that. Dude, like, uh, Cloud, that's going that that's a little later on the list. I already thought of that one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I thought of that one. <laughs> Debut the new WWE belt. Or, number, for number 26, and hear us out on this one, bring back the old school uh, WWF WWE. title. <laughs> and I don't care if you gotta like put the, uh, if you gotta remake it and put a WWE logo on where the WWF logo was. Okay, but the belt that Savage, Hogan, Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels, Shawn had. Michaels, Scott Hall, no, and he Scott was called Razor never, Ramon. Hall never won the WWE title. Oh, I thought he did. Nash, you're thinking Nash. Yeah. And no, not Steve Nash either, by the way, YouTube. Yeah, I don't even think Steve Nash was around during that time. There he was. Might, I don't have, been know. In, might have been in college. I don't know. <laughs> college, high school, something like that. Cause Probably. He kind of he he old, but he not that old. <laughs> yeah. A new structure match. I, that's, that's yeah. pro- that might just be me because the more I enjoy the structure match, like I like Hell in a Cell, I like uh, I like Elimination Chamber. I even like the Punjabi Prison match. Yeah, between uh, the Great Kali and Batista or something like that, and Undertaker and uh, Big Show. I'm not a they fan. Should, I'm not a fan but they of do. the, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm not a fan of the chain link fence cage match. They should bring back the blue, the blue cage or go black, either one. Yeah, but having it the same color as the Hell in a Cell cage doesn't really work either way. Yeah, and two, for a cage match like that, it kind of makes it look like they just went down to Home Depot. <laughs> like, hey, give me some of that. Give me about three or four pounds of that. We got a cage to make. Mm-hmm. And you're, you're saying about the uh, what they should do? Yeah, what they should do with cage matches... And this goes out for all of them. Just have them climb over the top or just have them locked out the door. That whole pinfall and submission crap, they shouldn't even have that. I kind of like the pinfall because if you beat the crap out of a guy, but it should be like you, but you can't, you can try, but you must walk out. Just a lot. Yeah. 
And to a point you tried to make earlier, bring back the legends that can go on a full time basis at their the level where they were in their prime. Because I'm there are some a lot of legends out there that can still go to help get the younger talent over. Yeah, like Stone Cold, Shawn Michaels, Stone, Triple H. Uh, Stone Cold, I don't know. I don't know if Stone Cold is in physically in the best condition. From what I've heard, he ain't. He still looks like he's, like, he's still fit. Yeah, but... From what I've you, seen. He has... Uh, did his knees his and his neck. And from what I hear, his hips are giving him a lot of crap. Or I would have said bring Stone Cold back. Just bring back like Shawn Michaels or something like that. Oh, God. Dude. Hell yes. (laughs) Even uh, Triple H, too, even though I really can't count him as a legend yet. Yeah. but really, he's like he is. He was, he'll be a legend when he when he he's a Hall of Famer. With all he his, is, yeah, yeah. This is just my sick mind. I just I'd love to see WWE do this King of the Deathmatch tournament. Yep. Like that talk, that whole extremely violent Japanese style. I'd love to see WWE just try to get that violent. Like putting yeah. bob beds of bob wire and crap all around the ring, you know. I I'm believe a sick uh, bastard, TNA I know it. did that. I believe TNA did that one. TNA year. tried it. They did not do it as good as they could have. I've seen it done a I'll lot forget. better. Well, don't forget, they freaking uh, liked, uh, I do remember they liked Sting out of that whole, uh, structure. You talking a lot now? But, yeah. Well, I'm talking like, I've seen a match with Abyss and Sabu. It's on uh, the TNA Abyss DVD. They tried to go deathmatch. They almost got there. Just needed to up it a little bit. A little bit, yeah. I need to, like, make everything into, like, hardcore stuff. Uh, Make everything like hard. Not every very hard. But put it in there. Yeah. And number ten. Well, this is just one of my favorite concepts. Bring back King of the Ring. Actually, they still have King of the Ring. I think. No, King of the Ring. They quit doing. Oh. Wait, wasn't Michael Cole like King of the Ring like last year or something like that? No, he claimed King of the Ring because he beat Jerry Lawler or something like that. At WrestleMania, yeah, he yeah. did. So I'm the new King of the Ring. Then Stone Cold really? came out, poured beer on his head, and stunned him, which I thought was pretty freaking hilarious. And. Last but not least, quit demeaning your some of your specialty matches. I mean, they haven't done this really to Elimination Chamber, but Hell in a Cell is supposed to freaking mean something. It's supposed to be where like every match, like every uh, match in a freaking cell. Not only Good one idea. match. Good idea, but what I'm talking about, like, I'm talking for the con, the actual match concept, where it's supposed to, Hell in a Cell is supposed to be where feuds go to get finished. And then the feud is still going with 
CM Punk and Nick Foley now. That feud is starting up. Yeah, that feud could be good, but I'm talking like... Why? Ryback versus Punk. What was the point of having it in Hell in a Cell? At least having it like WrestleMania or something. Have it like one of those big time main that events. Right. Uh, it's kind of kind of close so though. Ryback and Punk at Mania. Rumble maybe. Survivor Series maybe. Uh, Earth TLC something like that. But there's just a certain level I put at WrestleMania. That I don't know if yeah. Ryback's there just yet. But like, I remember when we had like Kane versus Taker in Hell in a Cell, or uh, Undertaker versus Mankind in Hell in a Cell to sell that, try to sell that feud. But they just yeah, didn't do freaking the Undertaker throwing. Uh, this is one part of the Attitude Era, which I everyone loves. Freaking Undertaker throwing Mankind off the top of the cell, crashing into the announce table. Yes. They, that is some good shit right they there. They need to listen to us. Yeah. Anyway, we Not need the to try to... Uh, we need crap. to start wrapping this up. Yeah. It's going on kind of long. Yeah. Even for us. But anyway, we're going we're gonna to be trying to get some uh, videos, some uh, question and answer videos. But I don't know if we have any. But anyway, uh, with us and the rest of the guys. So if you have any questions you want me to answer or present... Or me. Email me at lancemosstv at gmail.com or comment at, uh, uh, comment or private message me on YouTube or comment and private message me on Facebook. Yep. Also, as what the guy that I'm pointing to, uh, right next to me is just said, even though. Yeah. Yeah. What uh what that guy just said? Do the same thing as do the same thing but only email me at gmoney ninety four at yahoo dot com. Comment, post, subscribe and do some other shit. I don't I don't even know. Oh yeah, please subscribe. If you if you're seeing this and you hadn't subscribed to me, please subscribe. Please do. <laughs> Anyway, say bye, Cloud. Later. Later.